Hi, everybody. Thanks for joining us here on New Center Maine Plus and online. I'm meteorologist Ryan Breton with an in-depth breakdown on the weather that's coming over the next several days. We have two systems to deal with. The first one Wednesday night into Thursday morning. But of the two, the bigger one will be this weekend, specifically late Saturday into Sunday. And both of these won't be pure snow events. We're going to be introducing some sleet, freezing rain, maybe even a little bit of plain rain as these come through. As of Tuesday evening, there is a pretty big storm going through the mid Atlantic and the southeast, but this is not our next system. It will go out to the south. What's coming for Thursday morning is going to be developing here over the middle of the country and it moves in around midnight Wednesday night. The weekend storm is still way out over the Pacific Ocean, the energy that will form it. So understandably, with it being this far away spatially, there's still some uncertainty in the weekend forecast, but we do think we will get hit by the storm. It's really just a question of what type of precipitation will fall this weekend. As for Thursday morning, it's not going to be a pure snow setup because we have two lows here. And while at the surface it may remain cold, up in the clouds it should be warming through the course of the event. And that's a recipe for a changeover to sleet, maybe a little bit of freezing rain, and perhaps a bit of plain rain near parts of the coastline. But usually in these setups, the ground stays cold while it warms up aloft, and that allows for that icy mix to develop. It's a pretty quick moving system, though. The timing just is unfortunate uh, with the bulk of the snow falling in time for the morning commute and in some cases still falling through Thursday morning. So we'll show you this here hour by hour Wednesday afternoon. It's cold temperatures in the teens north to low and mid 20s south. We'll have clouds increasing, but the daytime hours of Wednesday will be dry and Wednesday evening will be as well. This is midnight Wednesday night, and at that point you can see the snow developing in Vermont and New Hampshire could be a few kind of ocean effect snow showers or flurries near the coastline given the air will be quite cold and then this overspreads the state after midnight by about 2 a.m. snowing in the western half of the state by 4 a.m. beginning in Bangor but still dry over down east and at this point it will be cold so the snow that falls during the middle of the night Wednesday night into early Thursday morning will be able to coat the roads in time for the Thursday morning commute so by 6 a.m. it's snowing almost everywhere with temperatures below freezing but at that point we'll start to see some of that warmer air move in a loft and this pink you see here is likely going to be sleet developing in southern New Hampshire as early as 6 a.m. and that comes into southern Maine during the morning so as soon as the transition from snow to sleet starts. You won't really get any extra accumulation, but there may be a little icy glaze that forms on top of the snow that's already on the ground. And you can see by 10 a.m. that's even getting up into Lewiston, probably a lot of sleet falling over southern Maine. This particular model does try to warm the immediate coastline above freezing, but often in these situations, uh, the air at the ground struggles to warm up. So we could have a little bit of plain rain on the islands and peninsulas and maybe even some freezing rain around Portland by 10 or 11 Thursday morning. Still snowing farther north and it's cold over northern Maine. So this will be a fluffier snow up there that's able to accumulate much more efficiently through the day. It races through though. I think that by noontime we're winding this down over southern Maine. Still a snow or a mix falling in central Maine and snowing up north. And even there in central Maine it should be winding down by two or three o'clock. You can see it's still snowing in the far north into Thursday afternoon and Thursday evening. And that's where the highest amounts will be out of this system. So in general across much of the state it's three to six inches of snow and the places that see a faster change over to sleet, especially southern Maine, it's likely to be closer to the three. If we're able to hold off that sleet, we could end up on the higher end. But my hunch is that in these areas, it's more likely to be closer to three. As you head farther north toward the mountains, more likely to be six. And where we are all snow across the crown of Maine, six to 12 inches of snow falling as this comes through. It's going to be mostly or all snow up there. That system pulls away. Friday is going to be a chilly day, gusty with a northwest wind, 30 to 40 miles per hour at times in gust. It will be dry on Friday. And the daylight hours of Saturday Saturday should be dry. There's still some question as to how quickly this comes in. And see by noon on Saturday, snowing in upstate New York, perhaps in parts of western New England. And this likely approaches southern Maine Saturday evening and overspreads the state Saturday night. Initially, this will be snow. 
However, again, we may be in a circumstance where warmer air comes in aloft, changing that snow over to an icy mix or maybe even some plain rain during the day on Sunday. We think we're going to get hit by this storm. It's just kind of the mix of precipitation. Is it mostly snow or is it snow that then changes over to ice and rain? The European computer model right now, the pink you see here, this is for Sunday afternoon, would be a lot of sleet and freezing rain. The American model and the Canadian Canadian model too for that matter keeps it mostly snow farther inland and the mixing confined to about 20 or 30 miles within the coastline. So between now and then the biggest question is how much mixing will we see and what type of impact could that have during the day on Sunday. Just for an example this is the European model snowfall output for this system and you see the blue shaded areas here six inches plus but not as much in central and southern Maine. That's because the European model changes us over to sleet and freezing rain, which would create a mess. And obviously, if we were to get several hours of freezing rain, uh, that we'd at least have to consider the idea of some tree limbs coming down and maybe even some power lines coming down too. I rate this a low chance at this point, but it's something we have to watch. If that mixing is confined closer to the coastline and it's more of a snow event, the numbers could be sizable. The American model here, which again keeps the, the mixing limited to this region, suggests double digit totals are possible inland. So either way, we're looking at what could be a fairly sizable storm Saturday night into Sunday. So here's how we sum it up in the seven day forecast. Cold and dry on Wednesday. Snow begins around or just after midnight in western Maine Wednesday night. It's a snowy Thursday morning commute that then changes over to sleet and maybe a bit of freezing rain, especially in southern and central Maine during the morning on Thursday. Getting around in the afternoon should be much better. Uh, the precipitation will taper down and at that point road crews will have no issue getting out but the morning commute on Thursday could be dicey chilly breezy on Friday the daylight hours of Saturday will find increase in clouds snow moves in Saturday night and then Sunday could be a mess with snow sleet freezing rain maybe a bit of rain a combination of all of those and we will keep an eye on the track and evolution of that storm between now and then thanks for watching this extended forecast you can stay with us on new center main plus at newcentermain.com for updates all week.